So pronator teres syndrome is compression of the median nerve between the two heads of the pronator teres muscle. So symptoms of pronator teres syndrome include pain at the proximal volar forearm, numbness and tingling moving down the distribution of the median nerve, and weakness of the flexor pollicis longus, flexor, flexor digitorum profundus of the index finger. Here we have a schematic of the anatomy. So as you can see here, we have the pronator teres muscle. There's the long head and the short head. The long head originates at the supracondylar ridge at the distal humerus. Um, and then we have the short head of the pronator teres, which originates at the proximal ulna. They both converge into one tendon and they insert onto the uh, proximal um, radius and the radial head. So as you can see here, we have the median nerve and it traverses between the two heads and it can get compressed right at this location here. Now that we've learned the anatomy of the pronator teres muscle, uh, let's move on to a physical examination maneuver that is helpful in diagnosing pronator teres syndrome. So this test is called the pronator teres syndrome test. So you begin with the patient's arm at a 90 degree angle and you'll have them uh, actively pronate. You'll resist that pronation and then you'll passively extend their arm at the elbow. A positive test would include reproduction of symptoms to include pain at the volar forearm, numbness and tingling moving down to the hand. Again, Starting at 90 degrees, having the patient actively pronate and then passively extending their arm. And that should reproduce the uh, symptoms that they have.